Hello everybody, Conodger here. Welcome back to the Racecraft server. Today we've got a lot of stuff to do. I am currently just clearing out some of this snow left behind from the uh, Christmas makeover. I don't think I'm going to do too much of it, but I figure I'll just do a small little patch every time I log in and come over here. Um, but I want to get back to work on the monument building. Got a couple things lined up there. Going to work on some stained glass windows. I think I've got the final window design. Uh, we're going to kind of we're going to kind of play it by ear a little bit. I've got an idea All right. as to what I want to do. I have not made it beforehand like I did most of them. All right, that's enough progress for one day. Somebody picked up their pick up gifts, people. Uh, actually, it's been. It's been very lonely here on the Racecraft server. Uh, Mr. Jolo and Lindsay have been, Oddball Lindsay have been moving into their new house, so I guess they have an excuse for being busy. Uh, Ducks is obsessed with playing Minecraft, as as I am, uh, but probably he, he goes through phases where he'll play a bunch and then he won't play for a month and I'll play a bunch. So I, I assume things will pick up again possibly in the near future due to the fact there is some updates coming and we will talk about those later but as you can see the road is all the way done so now it's just a nice little horse trip across I think it's even quicker than the minecart too so that's cool uh, the end uh, I just kind of laid this out I'm not super happy with that I might I might just dress it up with some uh, sugar and whatnot and live with it, but it may change completely. But this is what the uh, the road looks like. It's all basically one long bridge. And right here I made an arch in it so that if you're coming through the land this way you can get across. I should be able to do it with a horse. Yep. Which uh, I like the way this little gate thing turned out. I may I may replicate it over here for the little stream. Uh, this, so you can see it's closed off, the fence is in the middle. It's cool, I like it. Alrighty, so, you can see I've done a little bit of work. I started laying out the roof, and I just kind of extended what we, were already, we had already done. Today I would like to figure out what to do right here. I want there to be some kind of structural band here, uh, in line with the, the columns. And... Here you can see I've got one more face in. Now uh, this is a wither skeleton. Looks extremely similar to the skeleton but without a nose. Uh, I try to do the variation with the dark gray and the black. It just, or the light gray and the, the light gray, the gray and the black. But it just doesn't work. The light gray is so bright it, it washes out. So uh, I'm living with that. So I want to work on this one today. I did pick up that lead, didn't I? No. Okay, well, let me run back real quick, grab my lead, and put up Rocco. Spider donkey. I'm running. I'm running. I don't think I have a post. Yes, I do. Oh, man, there's a lot of badness out here. Um, I guess you're going to get axed. I need a sword right here. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Die. Let me sleep. Sleep? Yay, sleep. Okay, let's get started. Everybody, everybody staying back? That's a lot of creepers. Okay, so the window. Let me, oh man, this might be too much stuff. I don't need that. So I'm going to pick it up again if I'm standing here. I got a lot of colors in this one. I got pink. We got uh, green. There'll be some regular gray. No, light gray. Light gray? No, just regular gray. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Red? No, no red. A little bit of white. Mm, and black. Okay, so. First row is going to be... Oh, I've already got a couple in. Are those the right ones, though? 
First row is going to be two more gray. And then a black. Okay, so it was probably a little bit of a weird jump in the video there. The server went down as I was uh, in progress on this one. Uh, so there it is. We've got a zombie pig man. This one was pretty difficult to figure out because uh, his face is very wide. So what I ended up doing is basically cutting out the two pixels in the middle of his face. So you get some of the pink and some of the gray still, and it, it still represents him pretty well. Uh, I think I'm actually... I don't know, the creeper's pretty good too. I think I like uh, the, the zombie pigman the most though. But I like that this one's nice and bright. You know, they were getting, you know, it kind of caps the building. So you got bright ones up front and the bright one in the back. Uh, the, the weather skulls and uh, whatever. I'll leave them for now. Uh, for the back of the building, I know I said I was going to do a mural on the back. Uh, every, every time I even look at trying to figure out what to do back here, um, my brain just explodes. It's such a weird size, so it's it's very short and very wide, and there will be a little bit of an arch at the top. So uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be something really interesting to make. Uh, I don't I don't entirely know what's gonna come of it. You'll probably just uh, see it in an episode someday, magically done. Okay, so I'm going to do this side, mirror this side real quick. Actually, one second. Does anybody else have an uneven face? Yeah, the zombie. I want to see if I mirrored or if I flipped. I mirrored. No, I didn't. I flipped. Yeah, I flipped it. So I'm going to do it from the outside. All right, we'll finish that up, and we'll start work on the roof, and we'll talk about some snapshot action. Alrighty, so faces are done. I am super happy with how they've come out. I, uh, I think that's probably going to be what really makes this building, uh, sets it off the most. I, it would really draw your eye, especially at night, now that there's some lighting in here. Uh, this lighting will not stay, though. The torches will be gone from the, from the blocks, at least all the way around like they are. Uh, there may be a torch on top. We'll see. But I do want to do some drop lamps. Uh... But yeah, at night, when you get, you know, you're coming up the road, it looks really cool with the, uh, hello guys. I do not have a weapon on me, so leave me alone. Anderman. Let's get that out. We don't need this glass anymore. Whoops. That was stupid. But you can kind of see. And uh, I'm on the fence whether I want to keep the shack there or not. Uh, I have an idea for it. But I may end up, like, lowering it, or I'm not really sure. Uh, I knew you were coming. Oh, you knocked me off the road again. Don't make me put guardrails up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, looks really cool, especially the, the brighter blocks, like the purple, the pink, and the green. They really show up a lot with a little bit of light at the night. Alrighty, sleep off the night and uh, start work on the roof. I, uh... I don't want to make the roof too ornate. You know, it's not. It's very rarely going to be seen. Uh, it's pretty much, pretty much only going to be seen in renders and the inside. So I would like to make the inside look pretty cool. You bet. Another one. What are the gold guys? See, I want the inside to look pretty cool. Look like it's. A really supporting element. Let's keep our organization here so Lindsay does not kill me. Uh, yes, you stay in there. So I'll stay in glass in there. Ooh, I don't have room. I might need another wood chest, I think. <laughs> I'll take these guys out and put those in. That's good. And let me grab some stone slabs. I think those are going to come in handy. Uh, the snow, I'm going to keep there just 
that's just kind of a random idea I've had. Uh, let's see, let's bring some smooth stone as well, some more slabs. And I've got the wood inside. So, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I've, I've really kind of changed up my recording studio setup here lately. I put the microphone on a boom uh, that I made out of a desk lamp. That cost me all of $8, but it works, uh, I think, I hope. It seems to have gotten rid of that ringing sound I was getting. What are you doing in here? Uh, yeah, I was getting like a weird ringing, like a hang kind of sound. So hopefully it fixed that. I noticed in my last uh, automation recording that uh, I made my voice sound a little bit more nasally. I don't know, maybe that was just because I was feeling nasally that day or what, but uh, uh, it was interesting. Uh, I do think I might need a pop filter for it as well. I don't know. Let me know if it sounds any better or if it sounds worse. Uh, let's see. So I've extended all of the... Oh, that's what I didn't bring. Oak. I extended all the pillars out and the the slabs of the roof structure, but I do want to change things up every every column. Really make it look like it's supporting something and it can support itself. I think they were in here. Yeah. I think they're in the chest that I took all the wood out and completely ignored. Yep. Dark oak planks. Oh, there we go. Use up some of that dark oak that ducks gave me. I think I'm gonna need a lot more than that, though. I spent a good while farming spruce trees over here. You know those those four by four spruces. You can get a lot of wood out of those suckers, just like jungle trees. Okay, so let's see what we can figure out. Now I've got the stone up front, and that's what it's mated to here. So that leads me to believe I should probably have stone as part of it. But, I don't want it to be the whole thing. I want it to still have some wood elements in it. Uh, okay, so what if we just... Do I have any brick on me? I do not. So let me just do... I'm thinking maybe just bands. Look like bands of stone. Uh, these situations I don't like. This doesn't look like it's load-bearing. This one's not connected to this. So I would definitely... I would definitely do something like that. Or maybe even... Because this, I believe this is a different, no, this is the bottom. So the only thing I could put here was a smooth slab. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. So let me stretch these across and let's see what we have from there. Alrighty, so that is just the stone slabs matched up to the edge of everything. Uh, from this side, I like it a lot. It looks, it's very bright against the uh, spruce and the oak. And it, uh, it does kind of have that look of structure to it. But we definitely need columns down from these. That looks particularly out of place with uh, just the slabs covering those. So the question is, do we make the columns out of wood or out of stone? Uh, first thing I'm going to try is wood. So continue these logs downwards into these. Oh, is this? Yeah. Okay. So structurally, uh, it ties into, and there would be one on each side, obviously. It ties into... Uh, this portion of the building, which is supported by the columns, so it, it kind of makes sense structurally. Um, I may end up putting columns that go, or not columns, but trusses that go all the way across to make that make a little bit more sense structurally. Uh, I know it's a little weird thinking about things in a structural manner in Minecraft, because in Minecraft reality it doesn't matter at all, but uh, to me, I think you get a much better visual representation uh, if it looks like it makes sense in the real world. Um, go down here. So those are the wood ones. 
Let's try, I think I can make, yeah. Let's try it with stone brick. Just to see. Because I do like having a little bit more variation in the, uh, in the block types in here. So we got that guy there. Going all the way down. Now that looks, it looks very solid, but it, to me it doesn't make much sense. Why would you have a stone column supported by a wood floor? Um, and it does kind of blend in with it too much. So what it is, I believe. And I think once I put them all in, uh, it will make more sense. Visually, anyway. Let's get these guys down. Uh, now, I was talking about uh, the colors of the blocks, having more block variation. So how about the new snapshot? They, uh, they have introduced three new stone types, which I, I, never, I never really thought the game would necessarily need more stone types. Uh, now, obviously, in like Feed the Beast and those kind of mod packs, which don't forget that it was it was mod packs and modding where Dinnerbone first got his start in Minecraft. So it doesn't necessarily surprise me that he oops he wants to add elements of of modded Minecraft into vanilla. Uh, but that wasn't one that I come on, Cohen, you can do this. One wasn't one I was expecting. Uh, so we've got. Uh, I'm probably gonna butcher some of these names. Uh, granite, granite, I can say. Uh, it's a very orangish kind of. Uh, it looks in the natural spot. It looks like dirt, but cobblestone dirt. Does that make sense? And then you can polish it, and it becomes a orangish smooth stone. Uh, not quite as smooth as smooth stone natural, but uh, pretty smooth looking block. And we've got. Uh, andesite? I, maybe I'm saying that right. Uh, andesite. And all of these are naturally generated, but you can actually make them. So, andesite you can, or granite you can make with one nether quartz and one diorite, uh, which is the other block that we now have introduced. And uh, diorite can be made with two cobblestone and two nether quartz. So all of these can be crafted, even if you don't have them in your world. Uh, pretty darn expensive, though, and you should be able to find them. From what I've seen, the, the pockets of them are pretty big. Uh, we've got diorite, which is... It's kind of gravelly looking in its natural spawn and very spotted in its smooth look. And the last one is... Andesite which is a smoother variation of that and has a little bit of a color variance to it. It has a little purplish hue to it. Uh, none of those to me look like they're going to be main building blocks. They are probably going to be accent blocks, uh, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, and it might, it might not end up that way. Maybe you can incorporate that and we will experiment it when we, when we have those. Maybe you can incorporate them in a way that uh, you can use them throughout a build. Okay, so I'm going to put a row of just the regular slabs in the middle. I think that's the easiest solution, obviously, but uh, I want to see if that gives the effect of it still being a band. Like this stone band across there. Or does it make that stone band look like it couldn't really support itself? That's a possibility as well. Um, well, now it, it kind of it kind of does. It almost looks a little steel-like up there, which I like. It's uh, it's unfortunate. That's that's kind of what I was hoping. If if they added any blocks to the game, it would be more metallic building elements. So maybe you could make iron blocks and then make steel blocks and steel half slabs and steel stairs and stuff like that. That would be that would be a whole new envelope of new building materials to mix together. And that's something I hope gets added in the future. And with this, the way they update Minecraft, definitely a possibility. So I'm going to do another layer and then copy this over here and let's see if we like that. Oh, 
Alrighty, so there is the finished product. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of it, uh, but I'm not gonna go ahead and finish out the rest of it until I know if you guys think it's okay. Uh, the only part that's maybe a little weird is in between here. Should I connect these? But uh, my my gut feeling is no. It kind of it kind of makes it a little bit more unique, I think, uh, without them. Now the only thing I don't know if I'm gonna like is having them at every single intersection here. Uh, it's gonna make for a lot of columns in this area and way more columns and support than we have down there. So what I'm thinking might happen is, let's see, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I did one here, and skip this one and did this one and skip this one and did this one it wouldn't work it wouldn't work out that way uh, <laughs> oh man so what that means is uh, what that means is if I wanted to do if I wanted to skip some it would need to be the first one because then I would do uh, let's see then it would be this one skip this one skip this one no that still doesn't work and it would have to be it would have to be all of them it's all or nothing or could it be that I just skip the second row that would be a little weird so I would skip this one and do this one and then skip this one and do this one so it would be two right next to each other in the middle here and there would just be one missing here and there hmm that's something I might just have to mess around with to figure out because uh, I really like the way it looks but I don't want it to look like it's too much I don't want too much structure up here in comparison to how much structure we have down there because uh, basically this floor here is floating uh, and these are technically holding up the floor so it could kind of work both ways and the wood's supposed to represent the lighter material so it would make sense to have the wood there rather than the stone holding this floor up um, yeah like I said I'm just going to kind of figure that out and uh, I would appreciate if you have any feedback on what you think if I should just replicate this across all the bands or what uh, doesn't design wise it does not really hurt me at all because this is going to be the map room up here and what this does is give me a ton of uh, building or not building but a lot of pedestal areas so I could connect these and have the signs the maps and stuff like that on these so that might work that that now makes me think that maybe I should keep them in every band. I don't know. We'll see. There is one more thing I want to work on today. And that is this little portal window thing here. Uh, I'm going to start out with the simplest option. And that is just to continue the blue glass that we have on the top layer here. I really like that blue glass and I want to incorporate more of it. But I'm thinking maybe maybe putting something behind it as well. So let's go in here. Do I have any? Uh, I think it's the light blue. So I'll take a couple of those. Let me drop off. Drop off the wood real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised by how limited my color palette has been. I thought it would add a lot more than I have. I've not used that blue very much at all, so I wouldn't mind using more of it. But uh, it'd be cool to have a design up there. It's just it's just too small of a space, I think. Uh, I have one design in mind that we're gonna try. Forgot she organized. <laughs> all right, so the glass is up here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the dyes are in here. Do I have any light blue? No, but I have the correct things to make it and one of these one of these there we go spread these out love that mechanic so glad they added that all right 
so that's way more than I need. And let me grab a yellow. Some of you have probably already figured out what are you doing, Rocco? What I have in mind, but uh, it may it may look completely goofy, so we'll see. So let's try it first. Maybe that'll make us like the second easy option better. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Well, how do I have it over here? I have it inset. No, it's not inset on the top. So let's do it inset here. Whoops, not that inset. Using the silk touch pick more for glass than anything. Okay, so that is a problem. It doesn't connect with the roof. That's an easy fix. Well, I guess I'm taking fall damage to get out of here. Uh, let's see. So it would be these four. And I only picked up one. I am not a smart man. Okay. Break these out. Don't need that many blue anyway. Let me run down, grab a couple more yellow, and be right back. Alright, let's see how it looks. What do you think? It's the sun. Yeah? Yeah? No, I hate it already. Yep. The more I look at it, the more I hate it, too. Uh, <laughs> it just does not flow with the colors of the building. It's a cool idea. I like the idea of the sun being there, but, um, yeah... No, these these colors are all so kind of muted, and that is super bright, and um, nope, just not feeling that one at all. Maybe. I don't know. Now I'm starting to like it again. Uh, uh, I'll hang with it. I'm leaving it for now. If I, if I decide I don't like it, I'll remove it. Uh, I gotta put some stone slabs up there. I don't know. I don't know. It, now it's stuck in my mind. Do I like it or not? I can't figure it out. How does it look from in here? Uh, indifferent. Doesn't really make a difference in here. Hmm. I wish this yellow wasn't so darn yellow. Uh, okay. So I think that's going to do it for today. I've got a lot of thinking to do on what to do with uh, the rest of the roof here. Next time we will uh, probably see what I've decided to do on the roof. I probably won't have it done, but at least I'll have a couple more sections in. And I'd like to work on a nether portal area and the gate to the, uh, the gate to the road. So look for that, and uh, thanks for watching as always, and I will see you next time.